Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Hildebrand. In the last episode, we finished up the case of the Maiden's Virtue, where the objective of the thief was not the Maiden herself, but rather her necklace. And so he was able to make off with that. Oh well. And so we now moved on to the next case, the case of the Colosseum Conundrum, where there is a tournament being held here in Olda, and uh, there are fantastic prizes apparently available to the winners, and someone is making sure that competitors are suffering mysterious injuries and being forced to withdraw. So, we're investigating what's going on here, and um, there's this strange octopus creature, Ultros, kicking around, who seems mighty suspicious. So... We shall see how this plays out. So we need to go and talk with Dower Meadow on the steps of fall. Let's go find out where they are. All right. Oh yeah, and we have been volunteered to uh, to join this tournament. So, kind of where we're at here. Uh, yes. What is the time? I'm a busy man. Oh, what is it this time? I'm a busy man. Looking for Avila, you say? She said something about sharing a flagon with her countrymen over at the Coffin Coffin. I reckon you might still find her there. I'll warn you, though, if you're smart, you'll keep your distance from that one. The, that poor bugger Ganelon tried to interview her for an article, thought the girl was going to rip his head clean off. I'm going to put this. She doesn't seem to take kindly to being asked questions of a personal nature, if you catch my drift. That said, if you're looking for a good sparring match to warm you up for the tourney, that might be just a ticket. <laughs> I can assure you, there'd be no need for gratuitous fisticuffs, my good sir. With the with my remarkable powers of espionage, we will ascertain all the information we need without the fiery lass even being alerted to our presence. Let us be off. Oh yes, and there is this uh, female fighter who has shown up that we're looking into. All right, the coffer and coffin. Oh, that's way out there, okay. So we actually want to go ahead and just teleport. This is not going to go as planned, almost certainly. All right, Hildy, what's up? There she is. Behold, the lovely Miss Avila, just as predicted. Let's keep watch from here so as not to set off the girl's famed temper. How many times must I tell you? There's no cause for concern. The spoil shall be mine. It may as well be written stone. Do you realize what this means? We have suffered and suffered long, but my victory shall mark a new era. Just as Raoban Alden won a new life for himself in the Colosseum, I shall win a new life for our people. The prize that I shall claim will bolster the wealth of our people a thousand, no, ten thousand fold, in a land where wealth is power. It will be kicked to the gutter by Aldons no longer, and with that, I must be off to Nanoa Mines to meet my sister. Miss Avila's self-assurance is ever a sight to behold. I deduce that my own chances of, t of felling her on the field of battle are infinitesimal. Your chances of felling just about anybody are probably infinitesimal. I could have told you that before you signed up. Come now, we have a suspect to pursue.
Uh, there's our buddy Ultros again. <laughs> Trying to steal Avila from Uncle Ulti's tentacles, are you? I'm afraid of that isn't going to happen. Yes, Uncle Ulti's homemade explosives will see that this is the end of the road for you. Does that make me a bad octopus? Ah, the distinctive smell of fire sand. Another one of your handcrafted explosives, I take it, Nashu? Heavens, no, Inspector. It's, this is far too elaborate to be one of mine. Uh, do you think whoever crafted this would be willing to give me a lesson? They're on to me? Preposterous. Could it be that Musclehead isn't as stupid as he looks? No, he's just familiar with being hit by explosives. I see. In any event, I shudder to think what might happen if an unsuspecting passerby chanced upon such a hazardous object. Allow me. Heave ho! You've gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Got a taste of his own medicine, as they say. Alright. Alright, Hildebrand is up north. None of my minds. All right, what do we see? That maiden mining garb must be the sister of whom Miss Avila spoke. Let us listen a bit closer. I thought we agreed. No hard labor until your leg is healed. I swear, sometimes I think you were born solely to give your poor sister headaches. Says the girl who once fought off ten Imperials with one good arm. Uh, perhaps someday you'll understand what your little sister can take care of her. That your little sister can take care of her, herself just as well as you. Speaking of which, what news of the tourney? Worry not, Hegelina. I have taken all the necessary precautions. The warden's grace is as good as ours. Even the most modest estimates value is worth at some thirty million gil. Do you realize what this means? Necklaces from Estahim sun silk dresses. All the luxuries you ever wanted will be yours. The poor little girls in shabby clothes, objects of pity and scorn for all done upper crust, those days are over, and after I claim victory, we will take our rightful place at the top of society. I don't know, Abby. Wealth is all well and good, but... When I see you stand tall in the Colosseum, hundreds and thousands cheering your name, I, I am proud, no matter how humble our birth, if we stand strong and stand together, this alone is all the wealth I ask for. That is your problem, Hegelina. You've always been too quick to settle for less than you're worth. Don't worry not, for your sister is watching over you. I will do this, for us. I must return. God forbid one of those prying reporters overhears us. That's my Abby, unfazed by a duel to death, yet terrified to be caught in a moment's of tenderness. Uh, may the gods smile on you, sister, and be safe. Hmm, a more moving display of sisterly love I have not seen, and yet I fear it was afforded, uh, has afforded us little in the way of prospective clues. I see some purple over there. I seem Avila's obsession, obsession with victory runs even deeper than we imagined. That said, I can't help but feel a bond with a girl. My sister and I were alone in the world too, you see. Inspector, did you hear what I just... what I heard? Look, kids, Uncle Oldie had it up to here with you. Do you think you could just fall in this pit and die like a good little girl? I'm talking to you, Mrs. Warrior of Light. Hear that sound? Just one step closer. Closer. Uh, Hildebrand fell in the pit. Not you, you idiot. Um, no need for concern, friends. I have simply taken the liberty of investigating this hole in the ground. I am pleased to report that there seems to be nothing out of the ordinary. 
our hero. Now, shall we return to Ulda? The Mithril Cup will be starting before long, and the last thing we want after all this is to lose our bout by forfeit. Could it be? Did that muscle head dive straight into my trap to save his companions? The others seem completely unsurprised at this turn of events. Doubtless he has performed such selfless acts before. A true gentleman if I ever saw one. But if you think that means I'm going to show mercy on you, you've got another thing coming. Time to break out the big guns, kids. Wait a minute. I dug two pits, didn't I? Come to think of it. The second one was right around... Give me a break! <laughs> All right. We need to head down to the gate of Nold. All right, we should be here. All right, what's up? You uh, look a little skittish there. Yes, is something the better? We're on something of a tight schedule here, Inspector. Done back, Miss Ellie. A well -honed, my well-honed Inspector's senses are tingling. I feel the most fearsome adversary lurking about. Now with two lumps. This time you're really up uh, the creek without a paddle, kids. <laughs> Say hello to a not so little friend of mine from the Coliseum. He's large, he's in charge, and most of all, he's hungry. Where in the world is he? I haven't got all day. Ah, he had a run-in with Godbert. <laughs> My Chimera, who is that half-naked fool? Father, could it be that the aura of unmitigated murderous rage that I felt was not our quarry, but you? Ildi, I was merely taking a stroll in search of inspiration and materials for my newest masterpiece in the making, and what brings you and your friends to these parts today? Just a bit of sleuth work, Father Dear, and with that, we must return to Ulda. If you have not heard, your son is set to compete in the Mithril Cup. Oh-ho! Moonlighting as a gladiator, are we? A fitting second career for a Manderville man, if I do say so myself. That muscle-bound old man is the inspector's father? Remind me never to go to one of their family reunions. Just who is this inspector, anyway? Hildy is a worthy rival, if there, if ever there was one. Who goes there? Enkidu. Greg? It is Greg. Hildi, Ayame, I have been waiting for this day. Well, looky who we have here. You're quite the intimidating gent yourself. A friend of the inspector, mayhap? I am Gilgamesh, wandering duelist, and I am not so much the inspector's friend as his enemy. 
Well, that makes two of us. Perk up Gulliver, because this just might be our lucky day. Is there no one in this accursed realm who can remember my... <sighs> Call me what you will, friend, but heed my words. Ayame is a formidable foe. That sounded like high praise coming from a big fellow like yourself. If that's such a powerhouse as a sidekick, then Inspector must be something else indeed. I don't know what brings you to do battle with these two, but I warn you, you will end up as seafood soup if you face them alone. And with that, I must be off. For reasons that I do not entirely understand, I'm considered something of a fugitive in these parts. Yeah, man, I will not fall so easily this time. I think you will. Well, it looks like I got my legs full. All eight of them. But if that adventure is too strong to take on alone... I'll just have to bring along a friend. Uh-oh. He's gotten Godbert's attention. A supply twisting ring calling to mind the undulations of a creature of the sea. Yes, inspiration has struck. Uh, nobody here with us as octopuses. Look forward to your next life as a masterpiece, friend. Or fiend. Did he say fiend? I think he said fiend. Yeah, you ain't gonna outrun him. Muscle heads, I hate them. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the Coliseum and uh, talk to Hilly. All right, uh, down here. Palmerturgeon's Guild is the closest, I think. All right, where are we at? Good heavens, chancing upon father like that, I dare say it's taken a year off my life. When a crowd is assembled, it would seem the festivities are nigh about to commence. I had hoped to uncover more of Miss Avila's secrets, but no matter where, no matter what better place to continue my investigation than on the field of battle. All right then. To battle it is. The trouble with truffles. Good heavens, we haven't much time before the tourney begins. We must hasten back to the Colosseum and apprise ourselves on the rules of engagement. But true, gentlemen, the battle is not about victory or defeat, but fighting with honor. Whatever treachery or guile my opponents may employ, I must not, I will not, lower myself to their level. Very well, then. Let's head on in. All right. I guess we're getting the rules of the game. We have our purple friend up the stairs. 
bumps on the head, chipped teeth. I'm one shabby-looking shabby octopus, I tell you. They don't pay me enough for this. All going to change soon, isn't isn't it, buddy? Uh, Unga. Ah, Mr. Ultros, just the octopus we were looking for. I was hoping that you might enlighten us as to ye gads, who gave you those ghastly bruises? Uh, bruises? I fell down the stairs. That's all. Now get lost. I'm a busy octopus. Uh, we have that Unga again. Oh, Jim, my sympathies, good sir. Is a challenge enough to coordinate four limbs, let alone eight? Hmm? Is there someone inside your office? N no, whatever gave you that idea. Uh, I'm simply f fumigating the place. For pests. Pests like yourself. No. Don't you have a battle to go fight? Uh, Foon. Yeah. Inspector, I think something's alive in there. That's just me uh, talking to myself. Yes, fun ga uh, gods. Yes, gods. Working as a receptionist is fun. Battered, bruised, yet beset by vermin, and still able to find joy and fulfillment in your worth. I say, Master Altros, your passion for your chosen profession is truly an inspiration to us all. Priardian. Yeah, I mean, if you would come with me for a moment, I fear the stupidity in the air may be contagious. Alright, what do you got? Well, has your investigation borne any fruit? I see. Avila seeks to win the tourney by to claim a fortune and raise her and her sister out of poverty. Furthermore, she has implied that she has taken the necessary precautions to ensure that her victory is all but certain. While well, trailing her, you narrowly evaded a series of dastardly obstacles, and upon your return, that strange octopus appeared considerably worse for the wear. The evidence points in one direction. The Alamegan girl and Ultras are plotting together to claim the Mithril Cup and its lucrative prize. It is not as preposterous as it sounds. I have done some research on our eight-legged friend. It would appear that Ultros has become something of a regular at Old Dunn's taverns and, uh, houses of pleasure. I suspect that he is using his inside knowledge of the workings of the Colosseum to identify and eliminate potential threats, thereby ensuring victory for Avila and earning himself a healthy commission. There is also the matter of the Tempest Blade that is rumored to be the source of the Alamegan girl's strength. This remains a mystery, which means that I fear your life is still in danger, Ayami. One of the guards informed me that several crates of refuse from the Colosseum reception room were hastily discarded in Pearl Lane not bells ago. It is a stab in the dark, but the contents may yet provide some answers. I would ask you to bring them to me. Alright, so we're going dumpster diving. Excellent. All right, it's over there. All right, we have some refuse here. All right, some more trash here. And some junk over here. All right. Actually, instead of walking over here, I should have just teleported. I mean, the, the thing's right here. All right. We got that garbage for you. Well, let's see what you have found. Now, what have we here? Ah, oh, yes. A spectacular assortment of innards and entrails and... What's this? A sack even more foul-smelling than the gore it was lying in. 
if that can be believed. And look here, something appears to be written on the side. Synth goes sundries. It would seem this merchant has had dealings with that squishy mass of tentacles. Let us pay a visit to the man and have him enlighten us as the exact nature of their partnership. All right. Deliver the stinking sack to Sintgo. Or Sintgot, most likely. Yes. Sintgot. What's up? Welcome, welcome. What might a discerning lady like yourself be looking for today? Uh, what is this stuff? I'm sorry, madam, but I've said it. But if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. No exchanges, replacements, or refunds. I stand by the quality of my wares, and I expect my customers to do the same. Wait, now, did Ultra send you? I'll be asking the questions here. What exactly did you sell to that ungodly creature? Why, an entire sack full of gold truffles. Can you believe it? What with the impressive price and that uh, distinctive aroma, they're only for the most discerning of customers, which Mr. Ultros clearly is, as he just placed another order today. Uh, could these truffles somehow be connected to... No, I shall stop myself before I start sounding like... Inspector Briardian, it wounds me, wounds me that you would sneak off to conduct your investigation without me. And to steal away Ayame here, this gentleman is not impressed. Did you find anything, Inspector? Good gods, what is that dreadful smell? Miss Ellie, I would have expected a cultured young woman like yourself to be more educated in the uh, Epicurean arts. That is the most distinct and delightful aroma of the gold truffle. An acquired taste, to be sure, but one that has won the heart of many an old on gourmet. I particularly enjoy them slow roasted, as my dear mother makes them. Roasted, you say? My mouth's watering just thinking about it. Might it be so bold as to ask the recipe? And they're going to start talking food. It appears the productive portion of this conversation has come to an end. Besides, the tourney is about to begin. Let us make haste back to the Colosseum. Oh, hold on. Let's talk to Hildebrand first. You feel the anticipation in the air, my friend? This shall go down in Eorzean history as the greatest battle since I slew that dragon. That did actually happen, yes? Who knows? Well, that merchant proved to be a spectacular waste of time. Time which in sh is in short supply. We must return to the Colosseum before the battles begin. Uh, here's the plan, Ayami. I shall find a suitable vantage point to observe Miss Avila in combat. Until I've ascertained the tricky behind her abilities, you are to keep a wide berth of her blade. Understood? Like that's gonna happen. And almost certainly the troubles are important. So. All right, Dower Meadow. There you are. I was this close to starting the melee without you. Yeah. Hey, okay, whatever. Yar, har, har. Ah, I'd be remiss not to tell you there has been a slight change of plans. Another contestant suffered a last minute injury, and none other than our very own Ultros has stepped in to take his place. The everyone's favorite octopus is joining you two in the fray. Spectators are just poured in, and bookmakers across town are raking in the gill, which ain't a bad thing for us. Word has it that Master Feargeist himself is quite taken with my promotional skills. Aye, the future's looking bright for old Dower Meadow, it is. So what do you say? Are you ready to get your asses quicked? I'm ready to do the ass-kicking myself.
All right, that's what I like to hear. Ladies and gents, it's time for blades to whirl and limbs to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, plutocrats and paupers, open your eyes and steal your stomachs. The Mithril Cup brought to you by our ever-charitable friends at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. Your concern is our concern. is about to begin. And who will stand atop the heap of maimed bodies and twisted limbs to claim victory? Will it be the tempestuous Avila of Alamigo, Ayame the famed warrior of light, or who is that grinning fool again? Ah, that's right. A Humberbatch, agent of infamy and imbecile extraordinaire. Did you put that in there? Or will it be our 11th hour entry, Ultros, the eight-legged purple purveyor of pain? A little recovered from your injuries, it would seem. Wahaha, here I am. Did you miss me? I right, say so we have a battle for the ages here, folks. Combatants, take your positions and let the battles begin. Alright, you know the deal. We team up and wipe out the others, then when just the two of us, I'll take a dive. And you receive your share of the winnings. We have not forgotten our promise. So they are in it. Together. Alright, you have some Paladin abilities. Very well. Look at Avila's blade spin. Why, she's a veritable whirlwind of death and destruction out there. They breed them tough in Alamigo, that's for certain. Yep, just the three of us. You are next. Alright then. Here we go, ladies and gents. Once my buddy gets away from these raw truffles, he'll be sneezing up a storm. Literally. <laughs> ah, nothing like the rich aroma of roasted truffles. All this fighting is giving Uncle Ulti an appetite. Is time for dinner yet? Wait a minute. Roasted truffles? Braised in a savory sauce, just like Mother used to make them. Feel free to have seconds. There's a whole sackful where that came from. That meddling muscle head. What's taking him so damned long? The girl's gaze gives it away. Open that gate at once. Oh, hello there. Ah, Funga. What is that monstrosity? Uh, Mr. Typhon, is that your stomach I hear rumbling? Could I interest you in some roasted truffles, perhaps?
What fascinating friends you have, Ulti. Why, just look at this charming little no look at his charming little nose. Hmm? Is he perhaps suffering from a case of the sniffles? Could it be? Avila's vaunted Tempest Blade? It was that monster all along? The girl played us all for fools. Well. Don't look at me. It was all her idea. I'm just a stupid octopus. You were the one who approached me, you double-dealing fiend. I, I just wanted to experience the thrill of battle, you know, for my work and all. Uh, come on, Bauer, has Uncle Ulti ever lied to you? Yes, on numerous occasions. What did I tell you? I knew there was something fishy about that Alamegan whore. Alamegans. Beggars and brutes, a lot of them. We give them a home in our lands and this is the thanks we get? Send her to Garlemald for all I care. Just get her out of my sight before I get sick. But I just wanted to... My sister... I feel for the girl. Really. My little octopus heart goes out to her, but the rules are the rules, right? Now, if Uncle Ulti may be so bold... I say we call off the melee and have a final showdown between the three remaining com competitors. That would be me, my buddy Typhon, and Ayame here. What do you say, Mrs. War of Light? Ah, that's what we want to see. All truce, all truce, all truce. Well, this is a most unprecedented turn of events, but who am I to deny the wishes of such a passionate crowd of martial arts aficionados? The venue, Halitali. The fighters, the tag team of Ultros and Typhon versus the Warrior of Light. Who shall be left standing when the storm is settled? Be there or miss a battle for the ages. And there's Hildebrand stuck in the ceiling. All right there. He did not fight as a gentleman. All right, priority in. The review. The truffles were to elicit a sneeze from the octopus's oversized crony, which would be positioned so as to appear it was coming from the Alamegan girl's blade, allowing the two of them to sweep away their opponents with ease. No wonder I wasn't able to see it sooner. It's quite possibly the most imbecilic scheme I've ever encountered I've encountered in my years as a consulting inspector. At any rate, I we have no choice but to trust in your abilities now, Yami. Let us make for Halatali. Alright. So we're off to Halatali. All right, here we are. Well, this journey is certain uh, turned into a right mess. With all the trouble I took preparing consolation prizes for the melee, it looks like we won't be needing them after all. Of course, as long as you're bringing in the spectators and the profits, I could give a gnat's ass. Now, I know what you're thinking. Two against one ain't fair, especially when one of the two is the size of a small house. So here's the deal. Why don't you bring along some of your friends for the battle? Let's say seven of them. That should even the odds, eh? Or I could just do it by myself and wipe the floor with both of them. Hmm. Well, because this is a, uh... This is a trial battle. So, let's, um... The dragon's neck is what we're looking for. Let's 
So I'll queue in and I'll see how it goes. If it takes too long, then I'll just go in myself. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go. At least I think we're ready to go. Oh, right, there we go. Just need one more DPS to be awake. There we go. All right, combatants, the final confrontation will be held here atop the dragon's neck. If all members of a team fall from the platform, they forfeit the match. Seafood soup is not on the menu today, kids. All right. Well, uh, Ultros is looking a little larger. I guess we're focusing, well, we're just attack anybody and we're going to sit on Ultros. Or if I'm healer, I got to make sure that oh, a tank stay alive. Yeah, they um they have linked health pools, so get close in, get close in. Yep, knock back. If everybody gets knocked off, we lose. to stay out of I'm about to be able to turn into little guys for a few seconds. Oh, he's going to do a knockback again. Where they're going to short cast. There we go. Ah, didn't get it off in time. All right, Ultros is down. And Typhon is down. Thwarted again. I feel like such a sucker. And Ayame claims the Mithril Cup. Excellent. I'll take my 30 million gil. You're the other healer. Alright, loot. Oh, wind up Ultros. Sure. 
I rolled a 10. Well, I'm not going to get it, so I'll just head out of here. All right. Briardian. Good show, Ayame. Your performance has earned us front row seats at the award ceremony. This should afford us the perfect vantage point to thwart the thief. Come, let us return to the Coliseum. All right. So, back to the Coliseum. All right. Our... Uh, let's go and see the award ceremony. It was a battle for the ages, but a worthy victor has arisen to claim the spoils. And now, let's take a look at the relic our champion has won. Behold, from the personal vaults of Master Fearguys himself, the Warden's Grace, a timeless treasure the likes of which our realm has never seen, one that's earned the attention of Eorzea's most prominent pilferer. A ring. Above you. Ladies and gentlemen, inspectors and invertebrates, the opening act dragged on overlong, but worry not, the main event is about to begin. I know that you paid well for your seats here today, but I can assure you that my performance will not leave you disappointed. Now, I invite one and all to sit back and enjoy the show. File fiend, Mike Mark words, you have stolen your last treasure. I swear it on the Menderville name. And it's Greg. I think not, Hildegard. Greg? It is always a pleasure to reunite with old friends, but your timing truly leaves something to be desired. Yame, you bested me once, but not today. I shall have my revenge when I pierce your chest with my spear. Do you not mean your skewer? My spear! And off they go. Vile thief, is there not a shred of honor in you? Return my weapon at once. Oh, it seems you're an unexpected guest. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I fear attendance at today's performance is by invitation only. It's raining truffles, but the battle's already... Uh, Mr. Typhon, uh, just a moment. I'm sure I had a tissue here somewhere. Uh, 
And there they go. Alas, and alack, the ring sails straight into the hands of the fiend. Giving up so soon, are we? Those don't sound like the words of a Manderville man. But of course, brilliant father. If the ring won't come to me, I shall go to the ring. I'll be just like Delamud. Hildebrand, Heliodor, Maximilian, Manderville. Skyward, as only a Manderville can. And right past the ring. Father, you... No, not your own strength. <laughs> and he's through the roof. Nine hundred ninety seven, nine hundred ninety eight, nine hundred and ninety. Send key to <laughs> with the truffles. These legs, they look strangely familiar. Ah, put a little too much spin on that one, it seems. exactly as planned, but who can argue with the results? Save for one thing, this ring is a fake. But no matter, I have a feeling this will lead me to the true treasure. Until next time, friends, you have been a most attentive audience. That key. Bloody hells. Guards, seize the fiend at once. A bomb. A distraction. It's too late, sir. The second prize. The ring of inquiry is gone. Second prize? 
What is the meaning of this? Many faced fiend or no, the man spoke true. A master goldsmith's eyes cannot be deceived. This sun sphere is clearly a second rate rep replica. Preposterous. It's just uh, the dim lighting, yes. If you'll just step over here. Have you taken ill, friend? You seem to be perspiring most heavily. Let's not be so hasty, friends. I can explain. Ah, so you made off with the actual prize. I sold out my honor, joined forces with that odious octopus, all for a false treasure. What a fool I have been. Whatever was I thinking? Do not ber berate yourself so, Miss Avila. Why, it was exactly as you said, was it not? You're thinking of dear Hegelina and nothing more. I suppose I was at that. Hmm? How do you know my sister's name? I assure you, young miss, under no circumstances did I tell you to the nanoal minds to eavesdrop on your intimately personal dialogue with your beloved sister. Uh-oh. Mistakes were made. Uh, you, you, you have the right of it. Blinded by the prospect of fortune and fame, I lost sight of myself and what I truly what I truly was fighting for. My honor and my sister's trust will not easily be regained, but I will not shirk from the challenge. A dropple still sitting there. One mystery still remains. Before the thief identified the ring as a fake, he had already acquired the key to the storeroom. Clearly, the second prize, this ring of inquiry, was his target from the start. But why? There must be some pattern of the items the fiend has stolen, a pattern that betrays his true intentions. The Treaty Blade, Azema's Virtue, the Ring of Inquiry, all relics with quite a history, or to be more precise, relics from the era of the Belada Belladians. Belladians? Oh, if that is so, the answer is clear as day. The fiend means to found Eorzea's greatest museum of Belladian history. Pushing up the prices and gouging honest men out of their hard-earned coin. Doubtless another one of his cards will appear on the scene to tell us just as much. I don't think that's the plan. No card? There it is. That's a rather large one.
I have enjoyed our little game, but all good things must come to an end. I shall claim the four sacred treasures, and justice shall be served. So this is the thief's final challenge to us, but what are these four treasures of which he speaks? Where the four treasures of Belladia become one, the wicked shall be judged in the blazing light of sun. An old legend, little more than a fairy tale at that, and yet it seems the Phantom believes there is some truth in these words. Four sacred relics from Belladia? Or Belladia? The Warden's Justice. Uh, lofty words coming from a glorified footpad. Uh, one who's winning over the common folk by the day, if rumors are to be believed. We have seen the tales of a master thief ruffling the feathers of the rich and famous have won the man of more than a few admirers. Consider his targets thus far. An old on collector and her hired thugs, a trading mogul and the brass blades, and now a mining magnate and the stone torches. Is it any surprise that the sympathies of ordinary old ons would ally with the perpetrator rather than his victims? Astutely observed, Miss Ellie. Our quarry clearly harbors no small degree of resentment for wealth and authority. Might his next target be a member of the syndicate? Perhaps the Sultana herself? Uh -huh. Then it will be to his downfall, for the greater the challenge, the higher I rise. Um, just one moment, if you would. Mark my words, ye of many faces, there is but one man who shall lay claim to the four lost relics of Belladia. Belladia. And it shall be Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Yes, I'm sure that inspires us all with great confidence. A mysterious figure. Hmm, was that? No, it couldn't be. Who thinks Godbert may need a new pair of spectacles? All right, the Colosseum Conundrum complete. It's a race to recover the four lost relics of Belladia. As the fiend's true identity and aspirations are revealed. Will Eorzea fall prey to the forces of evil? Or will our hero do what only a Manderville can? The key to the next case is a mask. Have you ever worn a mask for so long you forgot what you actually look like? I have. <laughs> and how did they freeze in midair like that? Talk about a mystery. Oh well, see you next time. All right. Well, I think we'll go ahead and call that good here. The case of the Colosseum has been dealt with. Now we need to look into these Baladian. I think that's what I'm going to be going with. Baladian relics. All right. But we will save that for next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.